My name is Mike Salemi and I'm a performance specialist. Mostly what I do and where I spend my time is I travel and I teach workshops and certifications primarily to personal trainers, athletes and coaches on really any range of unconventional training tools. And along with that, uh, I try to blend in a more holistic approach. So blending the outer work with the inner work. When I first heard about the trip from Connor, a good buddy of mine, I was really interested because I had done plant medicine ceremonies before. Uh, I think I'd done probably like 10 or 11 ceremonies. And so I've always been interested and they've always been incredibly helpful for me. Uh, but I've never taken this much time away in a dedicated setting to kind of work on myself in this in this way. And I've never worked with any Shipibo healers. Most of the people I've worked with or the shamans I'd worked with prior have been uh, from Mexico. And so I was really curious and really interested to kind of see the, how, how the Shipibo culture and traditions practice plant medicines. And from what I had heard, one of the things that really got me more and more interested was the fact of how much integration work is taught here, which I really feel like uh, in my prior ceremonies, that was that was something that was a little bit lacking and a little bit missing. And to the point where I was, I mean, the experience were, were, were always hugely beneficial and I, I learned a lot. Um, but when I would go right back into my daily life, the next, you know, I'd usually try and take a day or two off when I would go back. I feel like I would miss a lot of the teachings or wouldn't allow myself to fully process them. And so it almost feels like this was, for lack of a better term, almost like a school of plant medicine in the sense of having orientations and especially those integration tool workshops are just hugely valuable for me uh, to take back home. And, you know, because I'm, I'm not sure, you know, hopefully I'll be back soon, but I'm really not sure when, you know, how soon or when the next time will be. So uh, to really have some, some tools and, and some concrete action items that I can use and take in my daily life, I feel are invaluable. What Saltar has brought to my experience in terms of what's really made it something special has been just the what they've created here in the space. You know, there's an absolutely gorgeous maloka where we would do the plant medicine ceremonies, but in addition to that, not only the where we were staying, where we were sleeping was just super comfortable, super beautiful. There's areas to lay in a hammock if you want, um, star deck, pool, beautiful kitchen area, and so it. It's it's interesting because you know I was speaking with with some of our buddies who who we came here with and we we're almost describing it like a like a five star experience but at the same time very real and very raw and I think that is very unique so I feel like the creators of Saltara especially Dan put so much thought into this place in terms of what they really took care of all the details that would make it a good of an experience as possible for us so really. What we really needed to do is show up and do the work. And that's at least how I felt personally. Uh, so many things, having people watching uh, kind of like guards when you were going home to make sure you didn't stray off the path when you're walking from the Maloka to your room, um, w the offering to wash clothes one day uh, so we don't have to go back home with, with you know a bunch of dirty clothes. So all these kind of little things I feel like made a big difference and it made just focusing on the healing work for myself that much easier uh, in ceremony. Uh, so that was definitely something uh, that was special and unique in my experience. Having quality food is probably one of my biggest core values and supporting locals, supporting small farmers. And so when I got here, one of the, one of the, the other draws that brought me to Saltara was just understanding and, and knowing that they serve all organic food here and they try and support as local as possible. And so they know where their meat's coming from. They know where their eggs are coming from. Uh, the lemongrass tea we were drinking on, on day one uh, was grown on the premises here. And so with whatever whatever thing I'm doing or whatever even organization I'm going to or school of thought I wanna, I wanna learn from, that core value is, is super important to me. And so that I feel like was a differentiating factor and a very unique factor about Saltar is the focus on having quality food, but also quality food that tastes amazing and I, I really do mean that because you know every day was a, a different meal and it gave us gave me a lot of ideas in terms of when following an, an ayahuasca diet how it can still taste delicious um, you know following the preparation diet I was following the diet but I was just very simple um, not that that's bad or that's wrong but I was just it was so neat to have so much variety and so much just amazing tasting food uh, here and in addition to that, I would say in prior plant medicine ceremonies, I had the, the Icaros that were sung were to the whole group. And sometimes the shaman would come up and sing 
uh, but there was never this personalized Ikaros, which for me, for me, like I thought that was one of the most unique and special things about about this experience, having every single ceremony your own personal Ikaros, where you can really feel the maestros sharing their love and sharing their healing work. And uh, it wasn't like a two minute Ikaros. I, I don't really know how long they lasted, maybe five, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but you really felt the the love, the intention uh, that the maestros were putting uh, for your to support your own healing and growth. And so those are two things that really come up here: the the quality of food, where it's sourced, and the care around that. And then also the just the quality and the love that was shared and expressed by the by the maestros. So after a week at Saltera, I can honestly say that I feel more in my body than I have in a while. Um, I think it's easy for me to keep trying to produce, produce, produce and, and work and in life and do, do, do. And over the last week, just the, the setting that we're in, um, the people around, the food, uh, really had enough time to just settle in with, with how I'm feeling on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's just been an incredible feeling and a, and a very grounding feeling.